Bismillah. So what we did in the previous videos, we did the loop setup, our LED intensity light loop, the intensity of the LED, and uh, we managed to control it manually using Simulink and Arduino. And also we managed to control it automatic using on-off control. And we saw the difference between them and the, the, the advantage and disadvantage for each uh, method or each mode. Now we reached to the PID control, but we are just studying now the P control effect, the proportional control. What if I have a system only with a proportional control? Uh, applying this system is very easy. You just take the gain, you multiply it, uh, sorry, you take the, the error and you multiply it by the gain or by a value. That's it. And that will be your controller output and you give this to your actuator. The higher the gain, the smaller is the steady state error. In case you are not familiar with a steady state error, if you see this, the green curve is my set point. This is a step input uh, for a system. And this is the step response. The black curve is the step response of a, of a loop of a system. And you, you see after the system is stabilized, there is a difference between the set point and the final value of my loop. That, that is the steady state error. The difference between the set point and your PV is the steady state error. The higher the gain you are using in P control, the smaller is the steady state error. Uh, but uh, there will be always a steady state error in P control. And keep in mind, you can't go very high on the gain. We will see uh, next when we use uh, the Simulink and Arduino, what will happen if I choose my gain a very high number. We'll see it's a special case. Now, if you want to understand why I can't get rid of this, there are two of uh, steady state error. There are two explanations. Uh, the simple one is with the gain, if I multiply the error by the gain, let's say I'm multiplying it by two. So it's like I'm dividing the error by two or the final value. And the next round is dividing also by two and by two. And uh, and you will go dividing the error by a value, you will never reach zero. Yes, you will go very close to the five, to zero, but never zero. The other explanation mathematically, we see this slide, if you are familiar with, uh, <clears throat> with the model of a, a first order uh, step response, uh, you can see that the final value, if I'm using the P control, if you are familiar with this, it's multiplying P by this, and to simplify this, it is this value over one plus this value. My uh, my final my final value will always be P K over one plus P K, and this value it's always less than one. Take this five over one plus five, less than one. Six plus one plus six, it's less than one. So mathematically, you can't go. Uh, zero, you will always be uh, less than one, and my step response is one, so I will always have a steady state error. Now, let's go to Simulink and Arduino, and let's see how to apply the P control. So, and uh, it's the same procedures as the, the previous videos. You open MATLAB, you click on the Simulink, and you click on the library, you add the blocks, so you add the scopes, you add from the Arduino library, uh, the pulse width modulation output and the log input. You add the constant and the slider gain. Now the slider gain also representing uh, the set point. Uh, the only new block we have here is the PID controller. And uh, this you will find it if you go to the library, you will find it uh, in continuous PID controller. You just try to click uh, add to the model or just drag and drop it and if you double click on it you will see that you can actually let's see it here you can choose what type of controller you want to use is it p controller pi or pid so in our case we are using p controller i'll keep this open and i'll leave it here to show the p value that I will use. 
and I'll click on apply. So there are actually two ways to, to build a P controller, either by adding the PID controller, or the other way is if you go to the math operation, you will just drag and drop the gain or right click and just connect the error to this to the gain and the gain to your uh, to your output that's it remember as we saw in the, in the powerpoint the the p control is actually just multiplying the error by a value and you enter the value here in the gain you want so we will choose the first method we will choosing the pid the other setting i forget to tell you about is if you go to PID advanced, we are just limiting our output so that we don't go, my output does not go above 255. That's the maximum the Arduino pulse width modulation can go and no lower than zero. So just I'm putting a, a cap on this uh, to make sure everything is working uh, fine. And you can have uh, something similar uh, to add if you are using the gain, the other, the other method. So uh, this is my... Uh, my PID controller parameter. Uh, I made sure uh, all the model configuration are correct using the right COM port. I already deployed the model and it's just waiting to, to run the simulation. So I'll click the run. And as you can see, my LED light is already on. The difference that we will notice between this method, between the P control and the on off, now the LED is not gonna go either fully on or fully off. Now we will see actually uh, the, the LED light gradually either increase or decrease. That's the difference. So it's it's less stress on, on the actuator. Uh, so just to in order to see all the parameters, this is the slider gain, this is the PID, And I'll open just the scopes. I'll bring the scopes also. Bring all scopes. So, lovely. Now you'll see that my set point is 819. I have an error. My controller output is around 50. And I having my, my PV is almost around uh, my, my set point. And you can see uh, the LED light intensity is high. This, I don't know why it happens. Uh, I, I had this problem also before. Actually, I didn't know uh, what, what caused it or how to fix it, but I'm going with it. Uh, this is, I still have, this is my controller output and this is my error. If I change the set point, let's say to 512, I still have an error. As I said, the error will never go. But if you notice, the intensity of the LED is really more pale than before. So actually, it's it's not, not compared to the on-off control. It's not either fully on or fully off. No, it's either uh, it's the intensity of it change. So if I use a higher one, 920, you can see the LED light is really high, 1024. I can't go there. Uh, it says the, it's my loop, so you, that's why we see the error is really, really high. And notice, even my control output is not that big. My control output is approximately to, to 100. No. Is the same, will, 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 I will have the same behavior if I change this number? No. Now, the error will be multiplied, let's say, by one. I should have a different uh, behavior. And you can see already my control output has increased. So now I will change the set point to 640. And we notice that I still have an error. But the intensity of the light now change. So finding the right P value, uh, and later we will learn in the PID also, this is called a tuning. So finding the correct parameter for your controller is col uh, called a tuning. So 
finding the, the right P is till, till satisfy uh, your specification, your loop specification. Uh, this is what all uh, tuning is about. And we can still notice, I still have an error, my controller output value and my set point, uh, how it's going to, to uh, uh, my PV is going to the set point. And we can also uh, notice the lag. Now, what will happen, as we said, if we choose a very high P value, I will apply it. And you can notice that the LED is actually flashing and is going from my CO, my controller output is going from 0 to 255. It's either on or off. We saw this before in on-off control. So actually, on-off control is like a P control with very high value or a P control with very high value, I'm creating an on-off control. And it makes sense. If my error, even if it's a small value, if you multiply it by a big number, you will get your maximum C CO. And if it is zero, then it is zero. So I'm going either zero or uh, 255, which is exactly the on-off. So uh, that's why you have to be careful how to choose the value of your P control. So next, we'll go back to the uh, PowerPoint, and now we will deal with the PI controller.